Hello, I'm JW. Uh, a bit of machining today. What we're doing is taking these uh, blank pieces. This is MDF with a finish on one side, plain on the back. And basically we're going to cut out these, uh, several of them, as they're going to be made into something else. Now this was a test one, cut OK, but it actually left a thin veneer on the bottom, so it sort of tore a bit at that end. So obviously adjusted the settings for that. Now of course to clamp this in place, we can't really use any clamps on the actual thing because this has to cut around all of the actual perimeter, so any clamp would be in the way. And this doesn't actually have holes in, so we can't really clamp it in the middle either, although it is going to end up with one hole in it, but of course one hole would uh, be no use because it would just swivel around and uh, pivot all over the place. So uh, instead of that we're going to use some tape. This is just masking tape, the uh, paper variety you can buy pretty much anywhere, no particular special thing about that. I'm just going to apply some to the back of the material here. That's completely covered there, and we'll just trim off the uh, excess from the end so it doesn't get in the way. Now, this piece uh, will actually be glued to another piece which is on the table, which also has masking tape on it. And then, when we want to remove it, we can actually remove it, of course, without damaging the back of this particular item because this tape will just peel away. So, I'm just going to use an adhesive between the two bits and attach this one here. It's actually for mitering purposes, but it's basically super glue. Uh, it says their bonds in 10 seconds. Comes with an actuator as well to uh, speed things along. So I just need to put that on the machine. So here's the machine. This is just a piece of MDF at the bottom. And again, there's the tape uh, just put on there. You can see the sort of thin outline where it's uh, obviously cut a few of those already. So basically, we've just got the tape here, pressed down fully. And then the other piece, which is uh, this one here, that will just, of course, glue here sticks on there and then that will hold it in position and this is just a piece of scrap here just to avoid slicing into the tail underneath because obviously this can be replaced and it's uh, rather more difficult to do so. So I'll just uh, apply some of the uh, adhesive to the surface here. And then we'll just make sure that it's spread out fully. And I'm just going to put the activator on the back of the other piece here because otherwise, if you spray it there, it would set on there, and that's no good. So, just spray it on here and then just place it down onto the piece of board there. So that's now glued in place, and now we can cut that. Now the uh, zero for this one is actually this corner, and the cutting is actually set to start in the middle here. It actually comes from outside, cuts in, goes around, and obviously finishes uh, where it started from. So uh, just get that uh, positioned up. I mean, this should be almost in the right place. Just make sure the uh, zero is actually where we want it. And then we can just cut that one out. And then it's just a question of prying under here with some flat object to basically break the uh, bond between the two bits, and it will just peel away. Any tape on the back then of course can just be peeled off and obviously not damaging the back of it. So just check that is set up for the correct zero position which is basically this front uh, corner here and then uh, just obviously cut which says should start in the middle of that edge and uh, go around and finish of course, where it started. <laughs> So that's cut there, I did unfortunately catch on this uh, 
waist piece on the outside edge there, but that's not a problem, it's uh, obviously just the waist part, and mainly because here, where it's quite thin, obviously there's not a lot of uh, stuff holding the edge down now, but of course the bit in the middle is what we want, so it doesn't particularly matter, so just vacuum up all that dust. So that's the dust gone away, and I say this edge is uh, pretty much already loose anyway. And we just remove that other piece of rest on that side, and then it leaves us our piece in the centre, which we should be able to get under the edge of it, and basically just separate it from the base which we've got. So uh, I'll just peel away. And then it's a question of peeling off the backing. And then the bottom, of course, is not damaged. And it still seems there's a slight lip there, so I may have to make a uh, minor adjustment. It's sort of a paper thin piece just on the uh, edge there. So uh, there we go, that's uh, another one of those. And so we can uh, obviously uh, just sand that wafery bit off. In a moment. So that cut out uh, reasonably successfully. I say I did uh, catch on the waste piece at the end there, but uh, that doesn't matter because that's a piece of waste anyhow. And of course, that very thin piece was only held down by a very tiny bit of adhesive at the end, so obviously, no surprise it uh, came a bit loose. Let's say it's the waste anyhow, so it doesn't particularly matter. So uh, there's the uh, finished item there, so uh, just sort of a uh, shape with a recess in the centre. And uh, this is one I did. Uh, or earlier that again had a very thin piece uh, on the edge it seems that that uh, piece of is obviously not quite level because it only leaves it on one end not the other but say it's literally the thickness of a piece of paper so it's a very minor adjustment needed there and uh, so I'm going to make several of these which is why I've set it up on the machine so obviously rather easier to do it on there than try and cut it out by hand and also the problem then is that cutting out a shape with that amount of curving in it by hand obviously is going to lead to a right load of bother although in theory you could do it on a bandsaw or something but uh, we're not going to be doing that because we have the machine to do it so uh, that's it for this time and if you want to see any other videos like this of uh, cutting out various bits and pieces then uh, do put it in the comments section obviously if no one's put interest then I won't do any of these either but uh, if you are then uh, say please say so so that's it for this time until next time thanks for watching